In this video, I'm going to be answering an email I received from a viewer here on the channel. The person's name is Lemuel, and the subject is impatience. This is a really good question because I feel that it applies to a lot of people who are trying to learn mathematics on their own. Dear Math Sorcerer, I hope you are well. I am currently a 16-year-old rather interested in learning more about math. And I have a question for you. How do you deal with impatience and ego in learning? Here's what I mean. I sometimes get bored with learning things in pre-calculus as I eagerly want to advance to the more complex or cooler topics like calculus. But I do find that sometimes this impatience and ego causes me to rush my learning as I would believe that I am capable to learn a more complex topic like calculus due to the fact that I would think pre-calculus is trivial. But how do I overcome this in terms of mindset? How do I shift my perspective? Thank you for reading this email and hope to hear from you, Lemuel. Well, I'm going to be honest here. I think it sounds like you are super, super excited about learning. You're so excited that you kind of want to jump ahead and explore subjects that you're not really ready to explore yet because you might struggle. And my answer is, that's okay, right? It's okay to jump in. You know, if, if you are trying to learn something and you feel like you're not ready to learn it, it's okay. Nothing says you can't pick up a book on, you know, linear algebra, like this one here by Hoffman and Kunz, and start reading it. Chances are you're going to get stuck, especially if you don't know a lot about proof writing, but you'll learn something. Oh, it smells good. You'll learn something. So it's worth it. It's worth it. So I do think it's okay to jump ahead. I think that you're just excited and I think that's great. You mentioned cooler topics. So this is something that I feel that everyone struggles with. I, I don't necessarily think it's unique to your specific courses. If you're in a math class and you're watching this video, chances are you would rather study something else in math besides what you're learning. And for some reason, that's always the case. It's like when we're forced to learn something, it doesn't matter what it is, you always wanna study something else. For example, right now, Lemuel, you wanna study calculus, right? But when you get in calculus, you might think it's cool for a few weeks, you'll be motivated, but normally, people still have that feeling that they wanna study something else. So you'll wanna study differential equations. When you're in differential equations, you'll wanna study partial differential equations. And that's always the case. I feel like human beings are just curious. And so when you're taking a math class that you enjoy and you like math, it's natural to want to study more advanced math classes. And I think it's okay. I don't think it's a problem. I think it's good. I do think that it is important to have a strong foundation. So what you can do to get yourself to study pre-calc is remind yourself that that pre-calc matters. The sad thing is, and this is, this is worth mentioning, once you're in calculus, you're gonna look back on pre-calc and you'll say, oh, pre-calc was so interesting, you know? And so you'll wanna go back and do pre-calc. Why? Because no matter what you're studying, no matter what class you're in, it's like we have this natural tendency to want to study something else. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that when you're in a class and you're being like told what to study, it's like, because you're being forced to do it, you kind of want to do something else. You know, because you have these homework assignments that you have to do and turn in, you kind of want to focus on something else. And that is a normal feeling and it is a feeling that I always had. It is a feeling that you're having. Uh, yeah, you mentioned ego and learning. Yeah, I, I kind of relate that to working out. You know, you go to the gym and you put on way too much weight and you're doing those ego lifts. When you really, really know, you should be lowering the weight, doing more repetitions. Same thing with pre-calc, right? You really should be focusing on pre-calc, doing your homework, you know, doing what you're supposed to do, making sure you get a good grade, and then, and then take that time and focus on calculus. So my advice would be focus on doing well in school, focus on good grades, and, and then use your free time to explore you know, more, more advanced courses and more interesting things. You know? And, you know, when I look at these books, I have memories. I have memories of courses I've taken, but most of these books, they're for self-study, right? So I've, I've used these books for self-study and you can create those memories by jumping into more advanced subjects while you're in pre-calc, right? You can learn calculus while you're in pre-calc. There's, there's nothing that says you can't, right? You can definitely do it. It's not beyond you. You could totally do it. So yeah, that's my advice. 
focus on doing well in school and use your free time to explore those other topics. And it's a normal feeling. It's a normal feeling. It's 100% normal. If anyone else has advice for Lemuel, please leave a comment in the comment section below. This helps other people. This email is fairly recent, so hopefully he sees this and hopefully uh, it helps him. If you want to learn mathematics, I do have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcer.com or freemathvids.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, but if you decide to buy them, please use the links from my website as it helps me greatly. Plus, I lowered the prices to the bare minimum on Udemy, so when you click my links, I'm pretty sure you always get a low price. I don't know how the pricing works, it's complicated, but I just lowered it to the very minimum, and so when you use my links, I'm pretty sure you'll get a low price. I've got calculus courses, algebra courses, differential equations courses, abstract algebra, advanced calculus, and some proof writing stuff and other things as well. So you can learn lots of mathematics. Also, if you're not a subscriber and you want to, subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay too. If you take away anything from this video, it should be the fact that what Lemuel is experiencing is totally normal. I've experienced it in every single math class I've been in. And it's a struggle because you know you have homework, you know you have responsibilities, but you wanna do something else, right? You wanna do something else. And, and that's just normal, right? It's like if you have a job and you love your job, you have to go to work because you have to go to work, but you'd still rather do something else even though you love your job. So no matter how much you like something, I feel like when you're told to do it, when you're forced to do it, you kind of always want to do something else. And it's especially true in mathematics. And if you're taking complex analysis, you're going to want to learn abstract algebra. If you're taking abstract algebra, you're going to want to go back and study discrete math. It's normal. I think it's just part of being human. Something about wanting to, you know, learn for the sake of learning. Something about curiosity and, I don't know, it just seems more fun to do self-study than to actually, you know, do what you're supposed to do and do your homework. So, yeah, kind of a rant video. Hopefully this has helped someone. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.